in the design of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Components and assemblies from the arsenal of the Mercedes-Benz concern were widely used, and the SUV itself was built on a German platform. How does all this affect its reliability? If the first two generations of the model had rigid beam axles installed in the chassis, then the third Grand Cherokee had an independent suspension in front. And that's not it. Instead of a steering gear, a rack and pinion mechanism, and the rear axle is attached to the body with five levers, so the whole structure has become stiffer in the transverse direction. As a result, the driving performance and handling of the SUV have improved. At the same time, the Jeep Grand Cherokee did not lose any of its cross-country ability. Initially, the SUV can be rear-wheel drive. Transmission. But in the Quadratrack I transmission, there is a single-stage transfer case that distributes torque between the front and rear axles in a ratio of 48 colon 52. The differential lock is simulated by the BTCS, Brake Traction Control System, electronic system. The more advanced Quadratrack 2 has a two-speed electronically controlled transfer case with BTCS. The top Quadradrive 2 is equipped with a two-speed transfer case and three self-locking differentials. Engine. For the Jeep Grand Cherokee, petrol engines were offered, a 3.7-liter V6, 214 horsepower, a 4.7-liter V8, 242 horsepower, and Chrysler's 5.7-liter Hemi V8, 338 horsepower. And for the European market, a 3.0-liter Mercedes Turbo Diesel, 224 horsepower, was offered. The base 3.7L V6 is generally reliable. The timing mechanism is driven by a chain that takes care of an average of 100,000 kilometers, but stretches from a torn ride. Replacing it with tensioners and dampers will result in 11,500 UAH. The crankcase ventilation system periodically clogs due to a stuck check valve. These shortcomings are also characteristic of other gasoline engines. On AV8 4.7 liter, the engine control unit often fails, periodically requiring a flashing. As a result, Ignition coils wear out quickly, 1100 UAH each. The exhaust manifold studs are broken. The work of replacing them is expensive and painstaking. But the second V8 with a volume of 6.1 liters is reputed to be hassle-free. This Hemi engine is equipped with an MDS, multi-displacement system, that deactivates half of the cylinders under moderate load. In order for this system to work properly, it is necessary to fill the engine with oil with an index of 5W20 then the valve clearance hydraulic compensators, which are also MDS control valves, will not fail. The Mercedes OM642 turbo diesel has proven itself well, but due to the growing soot on the intake manifold flaps, the electric motor that leads it dies over time. The plastic axles of these dampers break, and then for 10,200 UAH, you have to change the manifold assembly. On American-made machines, the control unit is buggy. On German boxes, oil leaks through the control unit connector. The block of hydraulic valves fails. The Quadratrack I transmission is reliable. And on the Quadratrack 2, the servo for switching modes of the transfer case is acting up. By 150 to 180,000 kilometers, oil seals, bearings, and the RK chain are changed. Engine. A turbo diesel is more often than other engines found under the hood of the Grand Cherokee. By 100,000 kilometers, oil begins to ooze through the sensor connectors, gaskets of the oil pan and exhaust manifold or the filler cap. Replacing gaskets will cost from 1500 UAH. Transmission. At 120,000 kilometers, the oil seals of the transfer case and bridges flow, the turn of adjusting the buzzing front and rear gearboxes will come, the transfer case chain is stretched. The time will come to replace the front drive shaft with non-removable crosses, in which play is already appearing. Front suspension. In addition to the stabilizer struts and bushings, shock absorbers and wheel bearings will have to be changed every two to three years. The upper and lower ball bearings serve up to 120,000 kilometers. They are expensive because they change in assembly with levers. In the steering, thrust is short-lived, and the rail dies already by 100,000 kilometers. Rear suspension. With a run of about 70,000 kilometers, replacement of shock absorbers and stabilizer struts is required. And after 130,000 kilometers, a global replacement of all levers and panhard rods may be required. If the bridge buzzes, prepare about 20,000 UAH. To his bulkhead. 